So our home show continues. We're going to head to the kitchen next, right? I get Cisco and I get a kitchen segment on the show. What more could I ask for? This morning, we're lurking, learning how to make a traditional Mexican recipe from Pav's Tacos in Leavenworth. Carlos is going to show us how sopes are made, and that's coming up. Actually, we'll do it right now. Sopes is a pre-Hispanic food, pretty much, and we are making with a corn dough. And we put pretty much the, the dough right here, it's like about four ounces. We put it in a or tortilla press right here. And we wanna push a little bit the dough right here. And then we wanna put it on the on the grill like that. And we can uh, after we have the tortilla done, we wanna make uh, in the in the corner right here, we 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 wanna make like a border on the tortilla. That way, the beans, the carnitas, and everything we can put on top. So you have beans and carnitas, do they come other ways as well? People usually ask for sometimes beef or another kind of, of protein, chicken, and we can do that, it's not a problem. So when it's on the grill like that, do you have to flip it on the other side or is it? We need to flip it and we wanna do that right now. Well, it was bubbling, so it got me concerned that it needed to be flipped. So that, that was... <laughs> yeah. uh, we have these two right here, and I can explain to you how we make the border right okay. here. So it's like a little pinch on the end of the tortilla, and we make it uh, this border a little higher. A lot of work goes into making these. Yeah, a little bit. It's not, it's not that bad when you have the, the experience, you know? So, Carlos, up next is uh, we've, we've made the ridges around the tortilla. So what comes up next? Next is putting some refried beans on top of the tope, right, like that. It's not a lot of beans. It's just a little touch, like when you put some uh, mayonnaise on your sandwich. That's mm -hmm. it, on both of, of the poppies. And you're still putting it back on the heat there. Yes, we, we just need to keep it really hot. So after that, we want to put the carnitas. Okay. Carnitas right here. And uh, for both two. So after that, we need to put it on the plate and start putting the toppings. That's pretty much uh, a So that's close. pretty awesome. I mean, that's a that's a, a, a healthy portion there. Is that how much we, we get when we go to your restaurant? Yeah, it's about three ounces of uh, pork on each uh, sope. Wow, that's awesome. That's yeah. a that's a filling uh, meal right there. And we put some lettuce, okay. some fresh uh, and uh, chopped lettuce like that. Now you After said this is a this is a recipe from the Jalisco region. That's where we would find this. And what, yes. what makes that different? As you're putting the vegetables on, what makes that different from uh, like other parts of the? Uh, in other parts, they use different kind of cheese or different kind of uh, meat, but Jalisco uh, use or pork or beef to fill the sopes. All right. So we have lettuce. What else do we put on this? Lettuce. Pork, uh, it's not spicy, it's just hot tomato sauce. It's like Italian sauce, but with a, a oregano spice. It's not, it's not spicy, it's just flavor. It's some of the salsa, some cotija cheese on top of the salsa. And after the cotija, we have some tomatoes, some some uh, pickle onions. Uh, we we make the onions right here. We pickle with lime juice, oregano, and a little bit of vin vinegar, mm. a white vinegar. And just for decoration, we need to put some uh, cucumbers. Ah. <laughs> some cucumbers on the edge of the plate. And one more thing. Just language. 
Okay, well, that's um, awesome. So people come can come visit you in Leavenworth at Pav's yes. Tacos. Uh, where are you at in Leavenworth? We are at uh, 833 Front Street, right on front of the of the park. Tell us one more thing about your restaurant. What are your What are your other specialties? What are some things people can expect when they uh, go to your restaurant? We are doing uh, beef tacos, pork carnitas tacos, and uh, adobada, like uh, the way we are making in Jalisco. And we have burritos, and everything is uh, we we make is fresh, homemade, or tortillas or sopes, flour tortillas we're making right here. So the burrito tortillas, I, I show you here. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, it's fascinating seeing the whole process. And I, I can see just the way you're doing it. And I know your wife's helping us film too. And the, the love that's going into this food. Yeah, tell me, uh, what does this, are you going to take a bite of it for me since I, I can't do it? Of course, if you're not jealous. <laughs> well, I am, but I want to see, uh, you know, okay. I want to I make sure. So you eat it like that with your hand like that? You don't use a fork? Yeah, you don't eat a fork. I mean, Mexicans, we know it with forks. All right. Well, I mean, I'm. You, you no, know where all of this is going? It's going all over my shirt right here if I eat it like that. No, especially tacos or sopes. Street food, we eat it by the hand. Okay. It's not like something fancy. Well, I so, want to. Well, I want to do it like like it's supposed to be eaten. That's for sure. I, you know, I'm not. I'm not too fancy that I need a fork. So. Okay. So I show you how it the sope. Okay. Well, you know what, Carlos, I am now jealous. <laughs> well, I, I do know for sure that I would need a bib to eat something like that. If you're going to eat it, I mean, all of that pork on there. Can you believe that? Uh, thanks, Carlos. That's awesome. Can't wait to head over to Leavenworth and uh, visit your restaurant there.